The Random Jottings of Donald J. In Nelson in Bendel, Lancashire. Healing Waters Location, Sabden, Fairy Well. The one time rendezvous point of the little folk, their magical powers ensured the water of the well cured the sick. In the heart of Sabden village, nestled amidst a dense thicket of trees, lay a small and unremarkable well. Its surface was calm and placid, and the water within it sparkled like diamonds in the sunlight. The villagers paid it little heed, regarding it as little more than a source of fresh water for their livestock and crops. But to the little folk, the fairies who flitted and danced amongst the trees and flowers of Sabton, the well was a place of great significance. It was here that they would come to hold their secret meetings, to share gossip and news, and to perform their mystical rituals. For the fairies knew something that the humans did not that the water of the well possessed wondrous healing powers. Its properties were such that anyone who drank from it, or bathed in its cool depths, would be cured of any illness or ailment that afflicted them. The fairies guarded this secret carefully, knowing that if the humans were to discover the true nature of the well, they would flock to it in droves, seeking to exploit its power for their own ends. And so they kept watch over the well and allowed only those who had earned their trust to partake of its healing waters. One day, a young girl named Lily stumbled upon the well as she was out walking in the woods. She had been feeling ill for some time, her body racked with coughs and fevers, and had grown desperate for a cure. As she approached the well, she noticed a group of tiny, shimmering figures flitting amongst the branches of the trees. They appeared to be watching her and she felt a strange sense of peace and comfort in their presence. With trembling hands, she scooped up a handful of the well's water and drank deeply. Instantly, she felt a warmth spreading through her body, banishing her illness and restoring her health. Overjoyed, she thanked the fairies and promised to keep their secret safe. From that day on, Lily returned to the well often, seeking the healing waters whenever she felt unwell and she became known throughout the village as a woman blessed with good health and good fortune. But she never forgot the little folk who had granted her such a gift, and would often leave offerings of honey and flowers at the foot of the trees where they danced and played. For she knew that the power of the well lay not in the water itself, but in the magic and generosity of the fairies who guarded it so carefully. By Donald J.